So are you a vegan? Uh, I'm not a vegan. I, 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 I'm totally not a vegan. Uh, that vegan word is a whole, yeah, man, it's a not, mo unhealthy that, movement, I know brother. that there was a, um, an older white gentleman that was in love with cows. Mm -hmm. You understand me? And, you know, uh, he stopped eating meat because of that and any animal-based products. You understand me? He took the derivative of a vegetarian and said that I'm a vegan. Mm -hmm. So he started that, but it had nothing to do with health. Nothing, nothing at all. You understand me? And I think that, number one, people ask me if I'm a vegan all the time, and I, I always say no, because, but I tell them I'm healthy, though which is a complete difference. Yeah. But not every vegan can say that they're healthy yeah. because they don't focus on health. No, facts. You understand me? Facts. They focus on restrictions based on animals. Yeah, facts. Right? Or the planet, but not based on their health and human beings and how we actually supposed to eat. Yeah. Right? It's like, I seen a, uh, do you eat honey? Yes, and that's what I was going to get yeah, into. Yeah, yeah. And that's the only reason why, I, for one, I don't like the word vegan anyway, yeah. period. But I don't, for and on the record, I don't eat, I don't eat no animals. I don't okay. eat any uh, dairy products. I don't eat none of that. You know what I'm saying? My diet literally is like an 80% fruit, 20%, you know, vegetable type diet. I eat grains here and there, uh, sprouted beans and stuff like that. But uh, my diet is very, very, very clinical. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, what about, oh, well, first of all, I want to uh, 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 put out my propaganda against the honey haters. You feel me? Because I went to a, uh, what I went to, restaurant planter in Miami mm -hmm. and they said they don't serve honey because they vegans man I was mad you realize planter is me and his favorite restaurant in Miami we go yeah. we fly to Miami just to go to planter man planter good as hell but they don't <laughs> serve honey and I, I'm getting into it with the people like bro come on man this is vegan yeah like, it come from plants it, it, it comes from plants they say it come from, from the they say it come from the bees because the bees is working but come listen on, man. that's why that's why I was like man this stuff is ridiculous it is. like who made up it's, these rules it's too intellectual bro. yeah because Number one, you got big vegans, yes. you know what I'm saying, which are completely unhealthy because either, let's say you don't eat plant-based food, but, or you don't eat uh, meat-based food, but you eat too much, yeah. you understand me, of everything else. Yeah. And then you got junk-based vegans yeah. where you just eat food that's not animal-based, but it's junk food, yeah. you understand me, it's not good for you. Yeah. Um, and then you got people who eat plant-based. Yeah. You understand me? Which is not a vegan. They're plant-based. Yeah, plant-based. And that's what I'm plant-based. I'm plant-based. I respect plant-based way more because plant-based is really based on health. But I wanted to throw in, you know, I was talking with my brother Blue Pill um, and Mama Pill and Red Pill and KT the Arts Degree one time I was in New York and came up in a conversation about the Dr. Sebi diet. And, you know, Mama Pill, she was married to Dr. Sebi when he was going through his cases and found in his uh, first facility to where is now where the current uh, Barclay Center is in New York. Mm -hmm. um, and so she helped him through that entire period through the trial and everything else. Uh, but me and Blue was talking about that diet where that diet was more specifically that electrical food diet there where you see the small list was for people who sick. Mm -hmm. So it was a healing diet. Now don't get me wrong, most people are sick. You understand me? But the strictness was specifically with those restrictions to heal. When you talk about hearing all of the people that got cancer, or AIDS, or herpes, or all of those different things, it was to electrify that body, create all those restrictions, so that no other chemicals, and this is the way I'm interpreting now after he said that, but I know a lot of people start off with that and they can't adhere to it, you understand me? Because it was always meant to be like, you know, if you will, a, a medical guy, you understand me? Imagine a doctor saying, look, you got cancer, you can only eat this, that, and the third. But at the same time, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it just because most people in America are sick. No, fact. Just undiagnosed. Yeah, and there's a lot of genetic weaknesses going on too. Uh, me, me personally, I will use, uh, and all re much respect to Dr. Savi, late great, he the one who ignited the flame in me that, that got me doing what I'm doing now. Under Elijah Muhammad was my first for how to eat to live. Man, that book is amazing. Yeah. Till this day. Yeah. Till this day. I mean, well, you know, a lot of people don't give it credit, but Under Elijah Muhammad sparked the whole entire healthful revolution in America. I can, no, I can agree with that. Yeah. I can agree with that. That's what Dr. Sebi um, said. Amongst, a, amongst many other things he's yeah. part. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Amongst, amongst many, many other things. <laughs> facts. These are facts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, me, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to say I 100% I uh, uh, agree with the diet. I do agree for, for that for a transitional period. But me, you know, as, as the fruitarian, you know, studies, clinical trials, because, you know, everything, the HIV that we heal, the herpes that we heal, which you can pull this stuff up, the herpes cases, the cancer cases, we didn't got people out of wheelchairs that was wheelchair bound for eight years. We healed somebody in Detroit uh, that, that couldn't walk for 10 years, you know what I'm saying, in a wheelchair. These was on high energetic fruit diets. Mm. And then studying our physiology, you know, it's proven 
I know that we our bodies done adapted to certain foods, but it's proven that we we yield the most energy and we live the best and how I have clear thoughts on all fruit diets. So what is a culture that is mostly just a high fruit diet? What do you mean? Like, um, is there a culture that you can look to like in Africa? with some original people that to this day eat mostly just high fruit? Uh, so you got Islanders. Islanders eat mostly fruit. They do mm -hmm. have vegetables here and there, but they eat mostly fruits. Uh, right. Yeah, Islanders most definitely. Uh, I got plenty of books too that talk about the fruitarian diet. You got uh, Back to Eden that talks about people that used to eat fruits and nothing but fruits. Uh, you also got Dr. Morris. He talks about the same thing. Uh, you got Dr. Lailela Africa in his early books. He was talking about how we all came from that fruit diet. You know what I'm saying? And, and again, once you study the physical makeup and you put in the clinical trials, you know, me, we got 12 years in of putting people on all fruits and seeing what it does to the body. Not saying that these other diets, uh, well, live it, should I say, because I hate the word diet, can't heal you, but I see fast healing, especially neurologically, is gonna be on high energetic foods. You know, but you do have to put in, you know, genetic weaknesses, man. We genetically weak. And every time uh, the, the, the child get older and have a baby, that's another genetic weakness. So we see fruits, people get on fruits and they get completely skinny. You start seeing a sunken face and, you know, they look malnutrition. But that's the genetics for us eating all these acidic forming foods that have been breaking down our tissues and breaking down our cells and our mitochondria. So now you get on these high foods and, and, and we gotta put in the fact too that the ground is malnutrition. They done completely messed up the soil. You know what I'm saying? The fruits that you're eating now are lacking a lot of they, they uh, phytonutrients and, and nutrition. The, even, even the Sabi diet, a lot of that stuff is lacking the stuff that, that Wood had in there hundreds of years ago because what they doing to the earth, man. So, but if you look at it from a physical standpoint, just physiology, you look at it from our small intestinal tract, even when you get into the pH balance of something called trypsin, amulose, the way our mouth and our salivary glances produce these alkaline breaking down agents, man, we are frugal boys. You know what I'm saying? Just, I mean, that's, it's, you can scientific, you can no, scientifically prove I can't wait to, 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 to hear a lot of, you know, uh, your peers that's in the, the world of, you know, nutrition and health. You understand me? Um, give their review. Yeah. You understand me? If you will, about the ideas of more specifically purely eating fruit. You understand me? And I think it's definitely worth a try. I think now, I think this is where a lot of people have misconceptions about fruit when it comes to sugar. You understand me? Because people don't believe that you can break down the sugar that's in fruit because they think of it in the same way they think about white sugar yeah. or other types Sucrose, of sugar. Sucrose, pentose, so maltose, and all that. Can you get the people to break down on sugar and why you can eat fruit without worrying about the sugar aspect? Oh, uh, of course. So uh, when you got sugar, you got three main bases of su sugars. You got galactose, which is produced by the black woman's uh, breast. You have fructose, which is actually naturally occurring in your fruits. And then you have glucose, which is naturally occurring in your vegetables, all right? So I already told y'all earlier in the interview uh, that your fructose yields 12,000 angstroms of energy. Your glucose or your vegetables only yield 9,000 angstroms of energy. Fruits is good. The only way I can heal diabetes one or two is by way of fructose. When you get somebody with diabetes and they're insulin dependent, mm -hmm. uh, you have something called the island salangrahide. So they'll say that sugar raises the glucose. You have glucose load on fruits, which is a total lie. Every diabetic patient that I've had that had one or two hyperglycemia that had or diabetes mellitus, we healed them on an all fruit diet with herbs. Now, this is the reason why. Fructose. When you eat fructose, fructose bypass the pancreas. The pancreas has something called the islands of Langerhines. You have the alpha cells, which produce glycogen. You have the beta cells that produce insulin. Then you have the delta cells that produce something called somatostatin. Somatostatin is a mixture of a growth pituitary hormone, and it's mixed with glycogen again. Well, in order to actually break down glucose and put glucose in the blood to penetrate a cell, that's what insulin does. Insulin is used as a key. So insulin is a key that take glucose, unlock the cellular membrane, and then the cell swallows the glucose and eat it. Then it gets actually broken down and metabolized by something called the mitochondria. And then you yield something called ATP, ADP, and, AT, uh, and AMP. Adenosine triphosphate, adenosine monophosphate, mm -hmm. and, and adenosine diphosphate. This is the energy. So we talking about carbon. Carbon is on your periodic table. All carbon is is sugar. Sugar breaks down into carbon. Carbon, what happens is you eat some sugar, right? You will eat the sugar. Once the sugar gets converted in the body, it is CHO. What the conversion is, is taken out of that hydrogen because hydrogen is acidic. So once you take the hydrogen out of the CHO, it's just carbon and oxygen. This is alkaline. So sugar is alkaline. 
What's not alkaline is when they take the sugar out of something like a corn, because corn have natural fructose, and then they burn it and change the chemical composition because they put fire to it. The moment you put fire to it, it changes the chemical composition. Now they're in heightening it. So they call this high fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm. Now it's no longer a fructose, it become a dextrose, or it becomes a pentose, which is a five sugar phosphate, or they call it sucrose. These things are called polysaccharides. See that we're not talking about monosaccharides. Monosaccharides is what's in your fruits, what's in your vegetables. Polysaccharides is what they're creating in these white men's laboratories. That's what's bad for us. But back to the fructose. Let me show you how amazing fruits is. If you are diabetic and your pancreas is down because whether they got a, a fluke worm in it, Fasciolosicus busky worm in it, a hook worm, a thread worm, usually you find parasites inside of the pancreas when somebody is suffering from diabetes and you find that mucus is down or the adrenals are down because the adrenals is in control of something called the autonomic nervous system. The prefix to autonomic is auto. These are things that runs on autopilot. Digestion is supposed to be on autopilot. Uh, the flickering of your eyes is on autopilot. Your breathing and your lung capacity is on autopilot. The heartbeat is on autopilot. All these are controlled by the parasympathetic, sympathetic autonomic nervous system. Well, your pancreas yielding insulin, it, that's a nervous system issue because the adrenals are down. And the reason why the adrenals are down because you're eating the wrong foods and these foods are creating toxins and byproducts that you're not getting out of your body because you haven't opened up the lymphatic system and the kidneys to filtrate all of that toxemia out or your skin is not working. Now check this out. That's the pancreas being down. So what food can I eat that don't break down the glucose? The only other food that I got is fructose. Now, would you glucose load for a couple of days? Yes, you will, because you're entering your, you're introducing your body to a new sugar, but it's a natural occurring sugar by Yahweh. Look, so you have two types of digestion, right? You have pancreas digested enzymes that break down the actual glucose. Not only that, the pancreas yield the islands of Langerhans and yields insulin to bring, to turn that key to bring glucose to the cell for you can have energy. Fructose completely bypass the pancreas. It go a lipid route. This lipid route is through the liver and then it's called cellular infusion where the actual sugar will infuse itself in the cell and don't even use the pancreas. Mm. And there's plenty of articles, the government articles written up on this and we have the clinical trials with at least 100 diabetics that, that prove this stuff that we heal them on an all fruit diet with minimum herbs. My graduates from my school being Forbes, Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>